All right, today I'm taking a look at Basil Hayden Toast. Uh, Basil Hayden is a lineup that uh, has has included uh, a variety of rye whiskeys um, and some age stated profiles uh, over the last several years. They obviously went through a refresh on the bottle, uh, but this is one of the latest iterations. Um, toasted barrels have become very popular, uh, but this isn't just a toasted barrel, which is certainly part of the process. What makes this Basil Hayden toast really unique is that 27% of this mash bill is made with a brown rice bourbon um, and 10% malted barley and then the rest obviously corn. So um, brown rice seems interesting. They had a brand several years ago called Beam Signature Craft and there was a, a 10 or an 11 year old um, brown rice bourbon, bourbon that used brown rice in the mash bill. And I'm sort of wondering if like this came about as one of the remnants of that product line and, and they did, they kind of folded it into this or they experimented and somehow it came out and, and they finished in a toasted barrel. So anyway, whichever way you look at it, whether it's uh, innovation or gimmick or accident, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, once the press release goes out, the product's out there on the shelf, and then you really just have to judge it on its merits as whether or not uh, you like the taste. So uh, it doesn't really matter how it got to the market, but my guess is it's somewhere in between that. You know, they had this brown rice distillate as an experiment. The signature craft series went away. I don't know that it was ever super popular or was ever meant to be popular. The Basil Hayden lineup, obviously, um, uh, Beam Suntory has decided that the Basil Hayden lineup is one where a lot of experimentation is okay. Um, it, at 80 proof without an age statement anymore, I think it kind of has an appeal to maybe some entry level bourbon drinkers. So maybe not, maybe not the purists or people who, you know, are attracted to the bottle, maybe don't know or don't have a lot of experience with bourbon. Uh, and that's fine. I think that's great. So uh, I want to taste it today. Uh, my general notes on regular Basil Hayden in, current, in its current form is that it's a very elegant, very sippable, um, relatively complex whiskey. Uh, so I was very interested in trying this because with 27% brown rice in the mash, you know, I really wondered like what that would do to the whiskey. So I wanted to give it a shot. So anyway, let's give it a whirl here. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna get that signature Jim Beam orange peel. I always get that note. Uh, this is no exception. There's sort of a, there's a fennel or there's an herbaceous quality to it. There's a vanilla ice cream, vanilla custard note. And there's kind of a toasted sort of oats, toasted sort of to toasted cereal note as well. All right, let's try it. So what's really interesting about the profile is that that 27% brown rice that they include in the mash is nowhere to be found on the palate. So I don't know if the intention was to disguise it um, or that it, it, it adds a layer of complexity but it has a very traditional bourbon profile. Very nice entry, so just sort of a silky vanilla bean entry right on the palate. It's got a nice sort of soft apricot note. Um, there's sort of a rose note here as well. And then right at the end, I get butterscotch. And then there's this very like persistent sweet tea uh, flavor that I'm getting. And it just kind of wraps everything up maybe like sweet tea with like raspberries and then there's a little citrus, like maybe a little touch of lemon in there as well. So uh, relatively complex flavor profile, not at all what I was expecting. Certainly not what you would, you know, what you would get from just looking at the label, you would expect kind of a toasted marshmallow um, and, and a real heavy, you know, vanilla, you know, flavor, and you don't really get that. It's certainly there, it's right there on the entry, 
but it really goes back and forth between a nice spice and a sweetness. Um, but it has a lot of like kind of culinary flavor to it. So this is a this is a this is obviously an 80 proof, a very smooth, easy drinking whiskey. Uh, certainly friendly to any palate, but in addition to being really friendly, it does have this nice complexity. It does have these sort of sweet and savory characteristics, which I think is really interesting. And maybe that is the addition of that brown rice in the mash, is that it does pick up this very slight savory note, which I think is really interesting. So, you know, somewhere in that 50 to $60 range, I think you pick up this bottle. Uh, and obviously it's a, it's a beautiful package, uh, makes a nice uh, addition to your collection, but it's definitely one that, that is reaching for innovation. And I think in this case, it's relatively successful because um, it, it manages to create uh, what you want in any whiskey, which is a blend of drinkability and complexity and something you can come back to time and again. So that's what I think of the Basil Hayden Toast and definitely recommend picking one up. Cheers.